Hello there and welcome. Welcome to a brand new supplier here at Achanda, bringing us the most amazing embroidery kits. Not just, not just embroidery, as you may have come across with your French knots and your lazy days and that kind of thing, but we are talking ribbon embroidery as well. And we are looking at brand new company, The Common Thread. Now we've got the lovely Tanya here, who is the lady behind the company. Good morning, Tanya. How are you doing? Welcome to Hachanda. Good morning, thank you very much. <laughs> and it's so good to have you on board. I mean, your kits are absolutely amazing. Thank you. Um, I think our viewers are going to love these. And we've got some lovely demonstrations coming up from you later. I have, yes. Wonderful, look forward to those. So let me take you through some of the kits. Now I do urge you to jump ahead and have a little look on the website. So there are some beautiful pieces and everything that we're bringing to you is created. I can hardly believe I'm saying this with less than six stitches, different styles of stitches. So if you're looking at these and thinking, well, they look very complicated, way beyond my capabilities. Please do not think of that. One of these designs, which I'll show you in just a very short while, uses two stitches, that's it. So even if you are the most novice of embroidery, Embroiderers, you will be able to get to grips with these. Shall I show you what we've got? Have a look at this one. This is the one that we just opened the show with, and this is a beautiful piece, as you can see. Got loads of different content in here. You've got a little bit of fabric painting as well, which um, Tanya's going to take us through with this. So, um, but what you can do is obviously stay tuned for that um, little kind of mini tutorial and of course you can go back and watch on rewind so when you get your kit you'll be able to work with these now Tanya these look like very comprehensive kits you're very generous with what you're putting in these well the kits come with everything that you need bar your hoop and a pair of scissors uh, it's got all the ribbons the threads your needles full set of instructions uh, with colored pictures and I what I do with my instructions is I try and write them as though I'm standing in front of you teaching you That's so lovely. I take you step by step through each flower, stitch the stem, then stitch the hollyhock, the leaf, etc. And I think it's so important that, to, I mean, you've got those photographs in there which show yes. exactly what yes. you're forming as soon as you are. Mm. Love it. Beautiful. So that is your instruction set. But tell me about these ribbons. We've got silk ribbons. They are 100% pure silk and they are hand painted by an amazing lady, a designer, Daifa Niekirk in South Africa. So they wing their way from South Africa to come into my lovely kits. Um, they are just beautiful. So because they're hand painted, they have a beautiful variegation, which just gives such definition when you are stitching your flowers. Now, do they all come carded like this? They're ready for us to start stitching with. They do. With? So every kit will have a card in it and you'll have all your ribbons carded onto it. Any threads that you need will be carded onto it. All you have to do is take them off, maybe give them a bit of a press to get any creases out you can start stitching. And I love this because you've not actually detailed them as colours, as in, I don't know, um, sunshine yellow yeah. or lavender purple. or what. You actually know where those colours are going yes. to be applied so on you, your piece. It, it'll tell you foxglove and the ribbon is attached. Absolutely beautiful. Now, where do you place these? This is the key thing. Well, Tanya's thought of that as well because you are going to get your canvas piece that you're going to be working on. Now, tell me about the fabric that we've got here. So... It's just a basic cotton linen mix. It's a lovely soft fabric. It's beautifully soft. Uh, it is. It's gorgeous. So you've got the design screened onto it. Um, and it's so soft that your needle and ribbon just glide through it. So you shouldn't be having to tug through That's um, good. the yeah. fabric. That will make a difference. Yeah. And I'm noticing as well, we've got another piece behind here. What's this for? Right, so that's your muslin, and I will talk you through that uh, when I start doing some demonstration to explain why it's there. Love it. Now, all the kits that we're looking at work in a similar way. So you're going to have that base piece, you're going to have all the ribbons, the threads if you need them within there, and your needle. Just literally, just needing, <coughs> as uh, Lydia said there, a little pair of scissors. Needless to say, none of the pieces come framed. That's your personal choice. Obviously, we don't know your home decor. You decide that for yourself. But what an amazing piece and the beauty is this piece is available on flexi buy so why not pop it into your basket if you're a freedom member delivered to your door for 24 pounds and 48 pence how amazing is that and then i bet you'll be sitting and stitching this and you'll probably have it all finished and displayed by the time that second payment is due 427922 the thing that i love about tanya's kits is she brings things in at an aff affordability rate so obviously you've got that piece there two flexi buys but there's a lovely little range which i'm going to get tanya to explain to you in a few moments um it's kicking things off with this fabulous little foxglove. Let me slide this one through to you. This is a lovely piece. This is the piece that I was telling you about that only uses two stitches. Now, this is part of a range, Tanya. Yes, so it, I started a, a range called the Little Stitcheries Collection, and it was to really break down some of 
my bigger designs into smaller chunks. Uh, people will look at like the home for a bees and they go, well, I'd love to stitch it, but it's too much. So I've taken smaller em elements like just the foxgloves or just some spiderweb roses okay. and put them into much smaller kits and they're more affordable so people can buy them, have a go, Yes, yeah. Decide if they like it or not. And I love this because it's going to be a series of these. I'm also holding up these um, other are, kits yes. that we do have available. These are two options. We will be chatting about these. They're going to come up in a few moments. But have got the details at the bottom. Oh, no, we haven't. Sorry, I do apologise. Got the um, same price. In fact, they go by the powers of magic of TV and our lovely Rianne with her finger on the button. Um, we're bringing those details up at the bottom of your screen. So your rose garland, you can see they're affordably priced again, just like the foxgloves. So these could be your uh, starter points. Maybe you're just going to go for one of these and how beautiful are they I'll tell you more about the, these ones later on but as you can see within here you've got everything that we spoke of before comprehensive instructions those hand painted silk ribbons absolutely beautiful elements within here which uh, of course the base that you've got with that fa fabulous piece of continent fabric that we've just been chatting about that means that you are going to be able to get the uh, fabulous results time and time again it's me trying to help and I've knocked everything over but we'll just stay looking at this one for a few moments um, and this is a this, now this is printed this isn't going to rub off no it's not they're all screen printed um, with ink and then I iron press them so they are on there they're not going to go anywhere beautiful I love this everything is, is created with so much care and attention and, and just love within there to be fair um, and beautifully packaged as well so if you are thinking about giving these as a gift to somebody I mean how amazing is that gift bag for this kit to arrive in for somebody for them to create but 517803 the packaging with every single kit is absolutely beautiful so maybe that's one that you're going to be going for next one that we're going to share with you um, again another beautiful design and I love this we've got different kind of serving suggestions of what you're going to be doing with your embroidery when you've yeah, completed it and this one here I mean this is so beautiful I mean a gorgeously delicate design have a look at this what sort of things are we going to be stitching in here so that you've got spiderweb roses bit of ribbon stitch uh, rosebuds um, I also quite like the idea of turning some of my embroideries into functional pieces so that's a needle keeper Beautiful. So I've used the silk ribbon embroidery, covered two pieces of card and put it together. So, well, now you eagle-eyed viewers out there might have thought to yourself, that's not heart-shaped. Well, there you go. This is why, because this is your needle and your scissor keeper. So we're going to learn how to actually make this into the full project. You've got all the instructions in the kit. There's a template to cut card and it will take you step by step on how to assemble it, put it together, stitch it together and attach the beads absolutely beautiful that is a keepsake isn't it that's an amazing gift there um, 38 pounds and 95 pence a beauty i think anybody that would receive that fully stitched up is going to treasure that forever or again if you want to give it as a gift to somebody then what a perfect opportunity everything that you need is in there again those silk ribbons hand painted to perfection and that's what it's all about having the quality of the ingredients which will ensure that you have the quality of the final project when you've put it together beautiful 522 the ribbon's not the best there the embroidery just concentrate on the embroidery not on the ribbon tying 5220 Five, five. We'll see if I can put that right while we're going through the demonstration in a few moments. More kits to share with you. And this is the beauty. Have a look at these. So many different choices with these. So wherever you get involved, you are going to have an amazing experience working with these wonderful thread kits. This one here, I mean, this heart, this is beautiful. I love that. Have we got wisteria in this one? Bit of, no, it's a bit of lavender. Oh, um, okay. And this, this was actually a class I ran for a set of beginners, believe it or not. Wow. Because again, it's just a few basic stitches, but look at the ribbons, the hand painted, the variegation, the color on it just makes it look so wow. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous, and I love that idea. Um, yeah, £32.95. and 95 pence. Again, your cotton is in there, or your hand-painted ribbons, or the threads that you're needing, comprehensive instructions again. All you need to add in is things like your scissors to help you cut with those. And then, of course, if you are going to frame it, then there you go. But you might have your own plan, your own project, and idea of where to use your embroidery. 509604, incredibly affordable at £32.95. Can you imagine getting the right ribbons? I mean, then, these aren't just any old ribbons. They 
make a difference when it all comes together and that's the thing it's kind of the, the the cherry on the cake isn't it that you've got that perfect quality of ingredients next one that we're going to share with you again another substantial piece but not over complicated so this one we were taking you up the garden path and i love that because you can see that little path meandering and all the beautiful flowers that you're going to pass as you go by these are beautiful i can spot a french knot or two just a few yes <laughs> Aren't they gorgeous? But again, I mean, the way you've got that gorgeous colouring for the foliage in there and the, the little ribbon flowers. Yes. Are there many stitches in this particular piece? No, you've got a lot of French knots. Um, you've got ribbon stitch, loop stitch. Very few stitches actually make up the designs that you see. So clever so clever when we get back over to Lydia don't worry I'm gonna be nosy I know I always open a show and ask a lot of nosy details about our new suppliers I'll be doing that don't worry uh, the 631 at 679 if you're wanting to get hold of this one again over two flexi buy payments means you could add in any of those other kits um, that we've seen that aren't on flexi buy so maybe you want to go for one of the roses now actually give you a sneak peek of these ones we've got the two different options with regards to these just choices of color really the design themselves absolutely beautiful and again the packaging I mean that looks like such classic doesn't it when it comes to in that gift bag now this piece as you can see it's stitched in a circle but that could be that you're hand embroidered maybe an initial in the middle there maybe it's a date for somebody's birthday maybe there's been a new baby come into the family and you could put them all the information that baby's name the date the weight all those traditional things that we like to know so, um, 24 pounds and 95 pence again a lovely piece as you can see and it just gives you the foundation with regards to these and that, even down to the knee I mean how cute is that pack of needles I mean could you just to put a bit little needle in there with a bit of paper but no they are all beautifully packaged absolutely gorgeous and again two options with this one now within here I can see that we've got um, kind of three different groupings of um, this um, silk um, ribbon in here so it's hard to believe that that's all that you're going to be using that's all you need I know it just it it grows that's the other thing with silk ribbon embroidery is it does fill a space really really quickly well, this is it, and we're going to learn all about that. Did a little bit of ribbon embroidery with my, my daughter years and years ago. We went to a little workshop. We had an amazing time. It's one of those kind of mindful, relaxing um, hobbies that, of course, you can take anywhere because it's only so small. You might want a hoop. We'll chat about that in a few moments. You've probably already got one in your stash, to be fair. Now, the second <laughs> option with your rose garland is this one, which is more of a peachy toe. Really pretty design. And I love the way that this has been popped um, into the lid of a box. So... Again, you could do, make a little needle box or something mm -hmm. like that with this one. Yes. Um, and again, a lovely design. Similar to the one that we saw previously, your design is going to be printed onto your cotton piece. And, of course, you'll have your muslin there to help you form those stitches. And then, of course, you've got those beautiful hand-painted ribbons and your embroidery floss there as well. Beautiful. 318199, a fabulous range of kits, I'm sure you'll agree. Now, of course, we are welcoming Lydia to us uh, here at Chanda, a brand new company, uh, the Common Embroidery um, her Company, and it's a beautiful, beautiful range that she's bringing to us. I'm going to head over and have a little chat with her in just a few moments. But of course, if you've got any questions, now is the time for you to take advantage of that. Studio at achanda.com, that's how you get involved. So if you want to ask um, any complexity questions or any experience that you've had, potentially maybe you've already bought one of them at Tanya's kits and you stitched it out why not send us a picture in first time that we've seen them here at Achanda but of course she has been selling her kits previously so you may well have got involved with those but I'm going to pass straight over to Tanya and um, I'm going to um, let Tanya get stitching we'll have a little chat as she's stitching I think so <laughs> what do we need to know to get started Tanya right um, I thought for today I would demonstrate off my a home for the bees uh, it covers quite a few different stitches that we need and I've put a few bits of, and pieces in there first so I need my glasses can't see without them so what I thought I would do is just take you through some basics of how I actually start to embroider so Hayley mentioned earlier that there was a piece of fabric so remove the dog hair piece of fabric at the back of your work so when you're working with ribbon embroidery it does get quite bulky on the back of your work so the muslin is there to stop a lot of shadows coming through but it's also a great place for you to start and finish your ribbon um, so I will show you how to do that now some people when they work with the two pieces of fabric they actually run a grid of stitches across uh, to hold the two pieces together I'm too impatient for that but I also 
find that sometimes that stitching and the thread leaves marks in your fabric, so I don't tend to do it. I do bind the top piece of my hoop. Um, it not only protects the piece of fabric that you have in your, work, in your hoop, um, but it also gives a really good grip and it will stop your fabric from slipping. And then if you've got a little screwdriver handy, give it a really good tighten and then it will hold, hold your fabric in place. You want it almost sort of drum, drum tight. Um, now, the beehive in this little kit has got a bit of watercolour pencil painting. Now, I'll just quickly talk you through it. It's very much like painting with um, watercolour paints. Instead, you're going to colour in with a pencil and then using a little dab of water paint over it and that just blends the colour in. But if you have a look here, if you can see, I've actually done some testers. So before you start painting on your piece of work, colour in a piece and then do some water and you'll see that it goes slightly lighter. And just keep practising until you find the colour that you like and then you can paint your beehive. Right, so I thought I would start with the foxgloves and we're going to do a ribbon stitch. Now, now, Tanya, I did promise everybody I was going to get um, kind of very, very intimate with knowing a little bit about you. So just before you get into your foxglove, can yes. I ask about you and how you came to, to get involved with the company? And, and have you been stitching for a while? I've been stitching about, oh, well, a long time. <laughs> I've been teaching probably about 22, 23 years. Wow. And I just fell into it by accident. I bought a cross-stitch kit many moons ago when my first um, son was 18 months old and I just needed something to do with my hands. Um, and it just really took off Fell from in there. Love with it. Yeah. Ah, and lovely. I just, I have loved hand embroidery. Wonderful. Mm. Um, so it's fox gloves that we're doing first. Fox gloves that we're doing first. Right. So when you open up your kit, your, meat, your ribbon will come out in quite a long length. I suggest that the first thing you do is press it to get any creases out. Now you can run it underneath a cool iron or I have a great pair of little travel hair straighteners and you can just run the ribbon through your hair straighteners. Now rule of thumb, when you're working with your ribbon you're going to work with the length roughly hand to elbow. You don't want to work with a very long length because it's a lovely soft natural fibre and as you constantly pull it through the fabric, it will begin to wear and tear and you'll get a seam running down the middle of your silk ribbon and it'll fray on the edges. Right, so threading your needle. Oh, let me tell you a bit about your needles first. I'm working with a chenille needle. The number I normally use or the size I use is a number 22 and that takes a four millimetre ribbon really well. For the wider ribbon, that's a seven millimetre, I've got a slightly bigger chenille needle. So a chenille needle's got a great eye, thick shaft and a sharp point. So you are, in silk ribbon embroidery, you actually attach your ribbon to your needle. And you do that by putting one end through the eye and the end that comes out, you take that and just stitch it onto the end of your needle and pull the long tail like Ooh, so. Okay. All right. Because if you were to just thread it as you would with thread, it will really, it'll keep falling out. Your needle will go all over the floor. Now, I don't work with a knot in the end of my ribbon. Instead, if I, sorry, let me take this off the hoop yes, again. That's fine. We might need to, I, I'm just mesmerized by the threading of the needle. I might get you to show us that again a little bit I later. I will do it again when I need to thread up for the hollyhock. Wonderful, so thank I will you. repeat it, don't worry. <laughs> right, so. You've got the muslin and your fabric. I'm going to start with a holly, uh, fox glove. So to start, I just slide my needle between the muslin and the main piece of fabric and pull it through. And then if you hold that tail with your thumb and just do a little catching stitch between the muslin and the silk ribbon. So that's not going right the, the way that's through to the front? That's not going right the way through. You're just working between the two layers. You'll find that that has really secured your ribbon 
onto your fabric. Wonderful. All right, let me just pop that back on. Now, just as you're popping that hoop in place, I need to let everybody know. And I'm just going to show you, just in case you have joined us, this is the piece that Tanya um, is um, teaching us how to create. She's paint already um, painted in the uh, kind of the hive area or given us a little bit of tuition. Just simple watercolour pencil she's used for that. And we're going on now creating those fabulous fox gloves. The reason I've butted in is because nearly half the stock has gone of this particular kit. So if you do like the look of what Tanya is working with, then you do need to get your order in as soon as you possibly can. Sorry about that, Tanya. Just thought no, I'd better let everybody that's, know. That's fine right so I'm going to show you how to do a ribbon stitch which is a very particular stitch for ribbon embroidery and it only works with silk ribbon simply because you will be stitching back through your ribbon so I'm going to come up at the point where the petal joins the stem and pull the ribbon through and then I'm going to use this needle and just use the shaft just to smooth it out because you'll see it sometimes comes through with a bit of a pinch so I'm going to smooth it through and lay it down you don't want to pull it so that it's really tight and taut you want to leave it as though there's a, a little puff of air underneath okay. and then I'm going to stitch back into the ribbon and the fabric and I'm going to pull it through to the back so is that kind of the center of the width of the ribbon that you're going through there or is it slightly off no, center? It's slightly longer um, if you were to use a thicker ribbon a wider ribbon it would be longer still okay what you don't want is to make the stitch too long what I'll do is I'll actually show you so if I do the same pet, um, petal above okay. but I'm now going to make it a long stitch you will find that you lose the shape and the, the puffiness it just becomes a long thin Nothing. Oh yes, I can see. Yes. All right. Yeah, it makes sense now. Now, ribbon stitch is very easy to pull through. Your hand can catch on the back. So, if you do make a mistake and you do pull it through, so I'll stitch, stitch it again. And I'm now going to go on to my next petal. But in doing that, I do that. Oh, it's disappeared. It's disappeared. You do not do not have to unpick, and this is what I love about ribbon embroidery, because I'm just going to stitch over it. Oh, I see. And all it does is just give a bit more bulk to your actual stitch. So it's kind of like a, a loose stitch. It's uh, a lovely loose yeah. stitch. And the secret to your ribbon stitch is to pull it through gently. What we tend to do when we embroider with thread, we pull until the thread comes to an end, and you can feel that you've reached the end of your thread. With your ribbon, you need to just be, just calm, just breathe, most important, and just pull through gently until your stitch is created. And then really try and hold on to that stitch and pray that you're not going to pull it out the next time. Um, now this, it's amazing because you've only done, was it three stitches you've done there? Yes, and I'm nearly... And it's, you're nearly halfway up. The halfway up. Love, it's very quick. So, Approaching 60% of the stock of this has gone now. Oh, my goodness. So... With the foxglove, you would go up the one side and repeat the same on that side too. And you can see where the ribbons have been painted, you get a lovely variegation. And so whilst it's one basic colour, all each petal is actually going to be a slightly different shade. Now, I don't really like that stitch. It's just not not looking right so I'm actually going to flatten it and I am going to come up and I'm going to stitch over it again that's you can also that I love about it there's no one picking because that's when you can oh, kind of great. stretch the, ca um, the, the cotton and, and co cause well if you were to sorts. unpick all of this ribbon you wouldn't really well you can't use it again because you've actually stitched through it anyway that's a fair point yeah but if you hadn't stitched through it and you try to unpick it it would just come out all worn and with a ladder down the middle. So you've then wasted some glorious ribbon. Uh, just another little tip that you might want to think about when you're doing your ribbon stitch is you've straightened it out with the shaft. You can always give it a little nudge with the point of your needle just to give it a bit more of a puff. Beautiful. As you work your way up. And it's such a mindful craft. This is a thing. It's oh, it's beautiful. wonderful. It's wonderful. <laughs> the hours can just pass by. Oh, yeah. 
My family know when I've not been stitching. Oh, I, I go, see. I need stitching time. I need stitching time. <laughs> me, Leave me. Me stitching time. Now, Tanya, I'm going to let you continue with your fox glove if that's okay. I know we're going to be looking at one of those other flowers in shoot a few moments, but we are incredibly busy. I need to give you a little bit of an update with regards to these because they are flying out. Of course, we've been looking at this piece here, which we are going to continue with in a few moments. It's called A Home for the Bees, and you can see the fabulous high feature in the centre of this piece here. Nearly 75% of the stock has gone. That's simply why we've broken away from it. It's actually now limited in stock i need to speed up who'd have ever thought that i need to speed up with my speaking gay eh? um so yeah it's now gone green on your screen so limited stock with regards to these kits and i must say a big shout out to tanya's daughter as well who's been helping with all of these kits <laughs> getting them put together so 427922 if you're wanting to get hold of your um home for bees then the details are on your screen we're gonna have a little chat with tanya i think in a few moments with regards to these but 427922 for those of you considering it should i very quickly quickly show you the elements that you've got within here so the, this is the case with any of the kits that you're going for which is why I'm going to go through it with this particular one you will have all of your ribbons and your threads that are included within the kit carded up so what that means is that they're there they're already they are silk hand painted hand painted ribbons so you've got that beautiful kind of variegation of color with these you can see with these particular pieces here as you can see there you've got those gorgeous um, elements there but you've got that gradient color now we've just had an opportunity to speak to Tanya and sadly I'm going to have to move on because we can't get any more stock of these and I know that we're literally down to single figures with those so it is going to go so 427922 if it's in your basket it is now technically sold out which means you have to check out your basket if you leave it there for about 10 minutes or so it will fall back into our stock and you know me I will let everybody know because there's people that have missed out on this kit and it's only fair to let them know that they have a second opportunity so 427922 do do check out your baskets as soon as you possibly can but if you have missed out on that particular one don't worry we've got something else to tell you. got the beautiful fox gloves now we have been learning how to create fox gloves just a few moments ago so if you like the idea of having a go perhaps you've never stitched never embroidered and you've thought to yourself these pieces are just so beautiful I'd love to have a go well Tanya's just shown with two stitches you can create your fa um, fabulous fox gloves here and it's amazing how quick it comes together that's the thing that astounds me two stitches that's all that you've got in here two sheets two sh I'll try again two stitches are plenty I nearly slipped up for a moment then, didn't I? Um, 517803. Again, you've got those hand painted silk ribbons. You've got your cotton piece there along with your muslin. Your needles are even included in here. The only thing that you need to add in are things like your scissors. Um, and of course, when you are looking at the frames, so the elements that you've got, this one's been popped into a frame, then you can see that you do kind of consider that yourself. Take advantage of your own um, kind of home decor. We're not including those kits. And this foxglove kit is actually part of a, um, a little kind of collection so I'll be showing you some more of those they're kind of called the little stitcheries because they're simple projects um, bite-sized projects affordable projects for you to have a little go with so 517803 if you would like to take advantage of this particular kit it comes beautifully packaged as well absolutely beautiful you need to move on because we're busy for that one as well so uh, I better move on to the next one and this is beautiful this is a kit for everything included to create your project here. So let me show you this. This is beautiful. So this is your um, roses and lavender needle and scissors keeper. So you're going to actually have a finished project at the end of this one. So all the beads around the end, everything that you need is included within this particular kit. So again, the beautiful ribbon stitching, a ribbon embroidery featuring within this piece, but you've got a practical use for this when you actually complete it. It's a little needle keeper, as you can see. So you've got everything you've even got your little elements of felt in there for you to put your needles in place there absolutely beautiful needless to say it comes needless to say did you see what did there needless to say boom boom it's all right i'm here all week um, so uh, yeah you're going to be able to make this up for 38 pounds and 95 pence what an amazing gift and again packaged beautifully i mean look at this let me open this up and show you this is where you're going to have all your instructions so much love and care and, and attention to detail i've gone into these it's incredible full photographic instructions there and 60 percent of the stock has gone my goodness we are so so busy you are loving your ribbon embroidery this one so glad that you're loving everything that tanya's bringing to us so if you fancy this kit i'm going to sort that out in a few moments details are on your screen there five two two zero five five thirty eight pounds and ninety five p more kits for you to consider and this one is a beautiful one as well this has got a lovely heart with it 
oh gorgeous heart shaped this would be absolutely beautiful somebody perhaps is going to be getting married next year perhaps with everything that's gone on they've had to kind of delay their wedding well it gives you 12 months doesn't it to get it put together but it's beautiful again you've got an open area in there so you could put a little hand stitch date in there the piece of fabric that you've got something i will mention as well and i noticed this earlier on um tanya has been incredibly generous with regards to the amount of fabric that you've got so you can see there you've got your heart there but the piece of fabric that it actually comes on is a considerable size bigger as you can see so that means that if you wanted to you could actually put it into a larger frame maybe use it as a centerpiece for a little cushion or a pin cushion not that you'd want to put pins through those beautiful um, flowers and you created them but it just shows you that you can use it in lots of different ways and make something quite substantial when you've stitched it out again you're going to get your muslin there for obviously supporting and working with your ribbon embroidery and of course all those hand painted ribbons yet again another very popular bundle this particular one and again you're going to get those hand painted dirt ribbons silk ribbons there along with your embroidery flosses as well so 509604 we are going to be seeing more of tanya i'm pretty sure of that one you are loving everything that she's bringing to us so uh, we're going to move on and we're going to get back to tanya in just a few moments but you need to know that we're very busy please do not miss out on any of these next one that we've got for you again it's a substantial piece so maybe you missed out on the home for the bees a few moments ago this one is where you're going to take a little walk up the garden path so again a lovely piece so this might be one that you're going to be stitching rather than the hive with all the bees again considerable size piece of fabric with this one so you've got your cotton fabric all screen printed and heat set which means it's not going to lift out of the fabric at all but it's such a mindful calm project that you can be able to work with this one this one's got a mix again on this one you've got a little bit more embroidery floss with this one so a little bit more traditional embroidery perhaps that's an area that you enjoy um, and you just want to dip your toe into the ribbon embroidery well you can see here you've got your different widths some very narrow painted ribbon there with regards to your silk ribbon and then of course you've got your wider here and it really does make the difference you've actually got kind of three different sizes of your ribbons in there beautiful but have a look at this piece if you missed out on the larger piece a few moments ago then this is definitely one to consider again you've got the opportunity to get hold of it on two flexi buys 22 pounds and 98 pence which perhaps would make it the most affordable way for you to get involved with these kits because that first flexi buy is i think that's less than any of the kits that we've been looking at isn't it and two payments with regards to these delivered to your door that would be as a freedom member wouldn't it like that idea so 631679 and again don't forget when you're looking at these as complex as they look breaking it down you're probably looking at probably five um five stitches no more than six for certain with regards to any one of these now of course i'm talking to you about the little stitcheries well we've got the other two that are kind of part of that collection as well so we're talking about the fox gloves but now we're looking at little roses and these are beautiful stitched on a gorgeous piece again um, screen printed with the design you've got all the information that you need and they are so beautifully packaged i mean look at these they're just absolutely gorgeous so here you've got your little circle which you're going to have printed and then you've got your little roses again a substantial piece of fabric working with this one so of course if you wanted to make it into a larger piece that you could do it might be you want to make it into like a little do they call them pomades when you put them on a little bit of ribbon and put them in your wardrobe with a little bit of uh, it could be rose petals inside couldn't it this one it's only got two different styles of ribbon in here so it shows just how easily you can get those beautiful stitches coming together and i love this as i mentioned before you haven't got a key card with kind of pink and green on there you actually know where those colors are going to be laid down within your project makes it so so simple 24 pounds and 95 pence again a very popular one two options with these you've got your pink and your yellow the pink one 30 percent of the stock has gone but it is a beautiful piece for you to get involved with again if you've never stitched before that's the whole ethos behind these little stitcheries is to encourage you to have a go but have a go and make something beautiful in the process the lemon version is this one or the yellow version should i say so it's slightly different color tones again you could be working with both of these and don't forget once you've actually learned how to create these you may well be going on to create your own designs because it's all about those stitches and placing them where they need to go to create those gorgeous formations to make them look like little roses so 318199 again two of these options available if you decide that you want to go for both of them that's not a problem just place your order for one come back in and order your second one and of course same item number no additional post and packing we've got probably about 17 minutes or low, so left within the show so i'm going to hand back over to lovely tanya um, and tanya you're going to take us through what are you going to take us through next so i thought i would have a go at showing you how to do a hollyhock oh lovely so this is a, another lovely ribbon stitch which is a loop stitch uh, so just to recap 
cut your ribbon in half once you've flattened it and taken any creases out. So the hollyhock that you, you're stitching, do we see that featuring in any of the other kits? No, so it's just in the beehive one and up the garden path. Oh, up the garden path, that yes. longer one, so that larger piece as well. That's it. They're so let me just show you. I'm just going to bring in, in the, um, the kit that we've got, because, of course, the kit that um, we're working with at the moment is the beehive one. So here you can see that the hollyhocks featuring, but it features within this one as well. So this one is your up the garden path. I've got the details at the bottom of the screen for you with regards to this one. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a nice stitch. It shows that when you're working with these stitches, how they transfer over to multiple designs as well so sadly the one that um, we've been working with has sold out but you haven't missed out on a beautiful piece this one we're busy for this one not only on the website but also on the phone lines as well so uh, 631 at 679 is the all important item number so what you're seeing created remember that those stitches can form part of many other pieces that you're working with as well um, the rose garden um, garland we're busy for those ones as well they're at the bottom of the screen those are part of those little stitcheries um, and also uh, is a, a, a case we've got so many different elements shall I show you those roses as well because they are very very busy for these ones as well so the little roses there you go have a look at this absolutely beautiful little kind of folds and that's the key thing with this those stitches form and the way that they are uh, stitched together they are um, kind of put together the clever way that they kind of feel, feel um, kind of row, roll up now um, I'm just going to ask um, Lydia I know Lydia was working and so oh, Lydia Tanya I do apologize where did I get Lydia from who's Lydia um, I'm wondering whether Tanya could show us how we form a rose because that is something I remember learning how to create a rose when I got started and of course we're looking at um, novice stitches potentially with this one now I know you might not have this set up in your hoop um, Tanya but is this something that people could potentially be creating maybe just uh, by hand with holding it within their hand or does it have to be hooped up um, we're going to hand it over to Ta um, Tanya in a few moments with regards to this one now of course what we've got here is got a whole array of different kits now when you start placing your orders for these kits that post and packing might start creeping up so don't forget if it's worth your while to become a Freedom member, then certainly do so. We're going to break away for just a few moments with our lovely Yanis. Not Yanis, it's Janice, isn't it, this time? And I'm getting all my names mixed up together today. Um, so, yeah, yeah um, Janice is going to explain to you that if you start seeing that po post and packing creeping up to around £7, might be worth becoming a Freedom member. So check this out. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom Members will also receive our exclusive Members Badge and Freedom Newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888. So don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter what are you waiting for join hochanda freedom today and become a member of the growing hochanda family
You certainly can. Now, we're incredibly busy. We're busy now as well for the Garden Path Embroidery Kit. And this is the one that we're going to go back to Tanya with in just a few moments. Um, she's going to be learning um, how to create these fabulous, I think it's the hollyhocks again we're going to be looking at, isn't it? Yeah, I'm getting a nod from Tanya. So you're going to be learning those um, elements, which will transfer over to the Hive Kit. So if you did get the kit that sold out, don't worry, you'll still be able to use the skills that Tanya is sharing with us. This one's on Flexi by two payments, so a very affordable way for you to get hold of this kit, £22.98. pence. So without any further ado, Tanya, how do we make a hollyhock? Right, so a quick changeover of fabric. <clears throat> uh, a hollyhock, but I thought I would run through just to remind you how to thread your Ooh. needle. Now, can you do this in real slow motion? Real so slow people motion. Like me. <laughs> right, OK. So ribbon in one hand, needle in the other, and you put the one end of the ribbon through the eye of the needle, you take that short tail and you poke it onto the end of okay, your needle yeah, got and that. then just pull the long one. Wow. All right. It's amazing. I know, it's I clever, isn't it? I could just sit and do it? that all day and not stitch a stitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, so hollyhocks. You'll see when you unpack the kits, uh, the hollyhocks are the the very long stems and they've all got these little circles around them. That's because you are going to stitch five to six little stitches called a loop stitch around the centre and then when you finish that you pop a French knot in the middle. So I'm just going to do a rough sliding, if you remember, I don't know if the camera will pick oh, it up. Oh this is the starting off again So isn't the it? starting off again, I'm just going to slide my needle underneath my muslin you probably might not be able to pick it up no that, unfortunately we can't capture it no. quite where you are but don't worry it's we can fine. go back and watch the beginning of the show because you did show us how to do that right so i'm going to come up on the outer edge of one of the circles and hold your ribbon and then i'm going to go back down not quite through the same hole because you'll end up poking your needle through your ribbon and then you'll pull the whole lot through as you go. And this is where a second needle often comes in handy. As you pull through, if you insert your needle but use the eye of the needle, don't use the pointy end because you'll snag your ribbon and then it'll get um, marks on it. So if you just use the eye of your needle to hold your ribbon, you're going to pull it through so you form a nice little loop. Now you can, if you're not brave, you can leave that needle in there whilst you then go to stitch your other petals. Now, another little tip that I do when I'm stitching flowers in a circle is if you imagine the letter Y um, or someone standing with two arms up and their feet together. So I would stitch my one petal down in the bottom of the letter Y and I'm now going to do the top left and again go back down to the back get your second needle oops and I've just pulled my first stitch through and as you feed it through you can put your See needle that in there. Variegation in those the, the hand painted silks. It's beautiful. They're beautiful. And that, that's what gives the character to your flowers. So now I've pulled my very first petal out, but again, I'm not going to unpick. So I'm just going to come back up, and I'm going to go back down using that needle again. I'm going to feed it through. And then it just sits there. Don't be tempted to pull it too taut. Don't be tempted to pull it through. You can, if you wanted to, hold the stitch you've just done mm -hmm. with your fingers. But be careful you don't put a little crease into the petal. So this is where just being more gentle and a bit more slow with your stitches and again, with this one, you've shown us with the, the beehive that if the stitch isn't exactly as you want it, you can overstitch it. Can you do that again with this one? You can. So I've just stitched this stitch here. Now I'm going to pull it out. I'm, well, I'm now going to stitch the next one. But in the process of pulling my ribbon through, I lose that stitch. So I'll finish doing the stitch I was going to work on.
And again, if you really feel you need to, you can just leave um, a spare needle in there. Perfect. But I'm now going to just go back and replace that stitch that I pulled through. So don't break out in a sweat and go, oh, I've <laughs> pulled it all out, I can't do this. Just stitch over it, just replace it. You'd never know. No, there we go. Beautiful. And so this one will probably take maybe six, six petals. Are you kind of working around the frame of that circle? I'm just working around the outer edge of the circle. Um, and when all my petals are done, I think I'm going to pop in another one here. Sorry, this is not one of my best stitched hollyhocks, no, but no, you get like, well, the idea, it's, don't it's all, you? I mean, originally uh, we've kind of chopped some things up around because it's been so busy. Talking about which, very quickly, um, I, I hate butting in again. I do apologise. But um, I just need to bring the details up. We're down to single figures for this particular kit as well, so I'd hate for anybody to miss out on it. And, of course, with this one, you've got your roses and your lavender featuring within this one. It is a project kit, though, so you are going to get everything that you need to create your fabulous um, project. And when you open up that ribbon, you've got your little needle keeper in there as you can see there so it has a practical use and I think it's perfect because of course it's embroidered with stitching in mind and you're using it for stitching purposes so limited in stock if you're wanting to get hold of this please do not leave it to the end of the hour you will miss out we do not have any more stock of these to get um, to you no extended delivery of anything so anything that you like the look of you need to be placing your orders now 522055 for that particular kit sorry about that right so I've done the petals around the outside of my circle and if you look you can see they're all standing up so oh yes it's all it's like a little blossom exactly but I want them actually flattened out a little bit and if I come up then in the center of that circle and here you can use a contrasting ribbon you could do this with thread uh, it's entirely up to you. I quite like to put a limey green ribbon um, in the centre of my hollyhocks. Oh, nice idea. And I'm then just going to do a French knot. And okay. it's just going to be one wrap around your needle, hold on to the working thread or ribbon, and I'm going to put it back down into the centre. Again, don't go right down into the hole that you've come up in because you'll pull your ribbon through. So again, it's one wrap, round the needle, hold onto that wrap on the shaft of your needle, put your needle in and once you've got your needle into your fabric and it's secure, you can then pull that working ribbon and that will tighten the knot around your needle and you can then pull through. And you can see it just slightly opens That's up beautiful. the petals. And of course that's very slightly different to um, an embroidery um, French knot because of course you go around a couple of times, don't you, around exactly. the needle. So it's just yes. the once rotation. Yeah. So whilst we're talking about knots, one of my other favourite kind of knots is a colonial knot. Um, and I often hear groans when people go, I can't do colonial knots. So if I show you just very, very quickly, you're aiming for a figure of eight on your needle. So you're going to go under your ribbon over and take the working ribbon over so it's under and working ribbon over so can you see there's a yeah. figure of eight mm -hmm. yeah again stand it up in the place that you want it to be that's when you then pull it and then pull your ribbon through and you will see it gives you quite a substantial knot now you can probably get that same size using the French knot method, just maybe put a few more knots around it. Um, so French knots I use a lot on the alliums on this, this little piece. So if I again take my ribbon that goes hand to elbow roughly and I thread it on. So again through the eye, take the short tail poke it onto the end and pull it 
And so don't the... forget, when you get your kit home, we heard um, how the, the thread for the alliums is going to be used here. Well, you can see on the card here, um, it's not a case that you're choosing a colour. You can go straight to the right thread that you're needing for that particular flower there. And that's how these have been carded up. So it makes it so, so easy. So you can see here your foxglove leaves, your foxgloves, your hyacinth leaves, your hyacinths. All of those are carded up so you know exactly which of those colours you're going to be working with. Makes it really easy. I like that technique. Right. Okay, so the allium or alliums literally just fill with French knots. You can decide. You can either do a one wrap French knot, it will give you a, a smaller, smaller knot when it works. See, there we go. You can do two knots. What you could do is if you can't decide how big you want your knots to be, because this is a four millimetre ribbon, it's, it's a lot wider than, a, say, a two millimetre ribbon, which is this one, which I use um, for the little forget-me-knots down at the bottom. So perhaps with the two millimetre ribbon, if you wanted a bigger knot, you would maybe do some more wraps. But if now, I just show you the difference in size. Just very quickly, if I can just interject, just at the moment, the bottom of your screen, that kit for that little lavender uh, needle keeper kit, that has sold out now, so I'm going to have to say goodbye to that particular one. But one thing I have noticed is this piece that we've got here with the little hearts, that is also featuring the little ribbon French knots that um, we're working with at the moment as well. So obviously you've got the garden path, which is the piece that we're working on, but another one that might be worth considering is this little vintage heart, the details of which on your screen there. So sorry. That's okay. All right. right, so let's have a look at a double wrap. So that's once round the needle, twice round the needle. Again, stand it up in your fabric, tighten those wraps and pull through. So there you can see that is quite a difference in size. Yes. Personally, I think I quite like the smaller one. So I would then just go and fill that circle. So that's, that, that's where the kind of the thickness of the ribbon does really make a difference. It does, yes. Um, and again, with this ribbon being variegated, you can see that some of the knots are already coming out different shades. Some are slightly lighter than the others. That variegation. Now, uh, Tanya, we've not spoken about how we can follow you on social media and see what you're up to. I mean, do you do video tutorials and things like that? Oh, the plan is to. <laughs> Uh, I haven't got there yet. I, I've been in this industry a long time and I've only done my first ever one this week. So, really? yeah. <laughs> I know. I keep saying, oh, I'm going to do some YouTube tutorials. Yes. And my children keep saying, you need this for it, you need to do that, and we'll help you do it. And we haven't quite got round to doing I it. I did but mine on my phone. So, that's, take <laughs> no think, notice of what they're telling you. Yeah. Just you need a phone. <laughs> I think that's what I will end up doing. So, yes, so I will be doing some YouTube Wonderful. tutorials. And are you on social media? I'm already? on social media. So, I'm on Instagram. I'm the common thread. And Lovely. I've dash dash. Um, I'm on Facebook. Wonderful. As well. Because our viewers do like to keep in touch. And yeah. So I know that many of them will want to welcome so. you here as well. Love it. Absolutely fabulous. Now we are sadly coming towards the end of the show. We've only got about three minutes left. So shall I do a little bit of a review of the kits that we've got left? And then uh, perhaps um, if you want to carry on stitching, by all means you can do. Because I know if you're anything like me, once you start, you really cannot stop. Um, but um, of course, we've been chatting about different kits. So I'm going to move on from the piece that we've been looking at there because sadly that one has sold out. Do keep an eye on your schedule though, because I think after the success of today's hour, it's not going to be long before we see lovely Tanya back again. But maybe this is the kit for you. This one, you've got a whole different style of stitches within the here but again it's been a popular kit over 80 percent of the stock has gone so that's the key thing with these kits we've had so many i've lost count of how many sellouts we've had during this hour this one potentially could go especially if you're watching on a repeat of the hour uh, but 32 pounds and 95 pence you're going to learn how to create this beautiful heart using probably about four or five different embroidery stitches in there and of course maybe experiencing a ribbon embroidery for the first ever time we have got smaller projects that you might want to consider if you want to get started they're called the Stitcher, um, stitchery projects and we have a stitchery collection should I say and we've got those on the website as well but of course the garden path is the one that we've just seen um, our lovely um, uh, Tanya working with and uh, this is a beautiful one 50% of the stock has gone my goodness wow we are so busy um, again if you have just joined us what you will get within each of your kits I can't show you the actual piece of fabric within this particular one because um, obviously Tanya's just been working with it but you have got your printed your screen printed fabric and within there you've got all the lines the 
guidelines to help you. Your muslin, if you've just joined us, is going to sit on the back of your fabric to support your embroidery. And you've got your card with all of the embroidery um, ribbons that you need. These are silk ribbons. They are hand-painted, which means you get a beautiful variegation to the colours. You will also find that you may have some additional elements in there. It could be um, little cotton perle, as you can see there. Or it could be um, things like embroidery flosses. But everything is within your kit, including your full comprehensive instructions. And it all comes beautifully packaged, so if you do want to give it as a gift, you can do as well. And, of course, you've got your hollyhocks in there, which is what we saw created, alongside the foxgloves, which we saw at the beginning of the hour. Two flexi buys, £22.95 pence is the key thing with regards to these. So they are a beautiful set. I'm just going to grab the other one of this one to share with you, because do check out some of those smaller kits as well. So if you're looking at some of the kits and you're thinking to yourself, I, I love the idea, but they do look very complicated. You've only probably got four or five stitches within there, but if you still do want to create something with even just two different styles of a ribbon in there and just your embroidery flosses, then these are the ones to check out. Tanya, thank you so much. There you go. You've done your first ever show and it's been a fabulous one. So give us a wave. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so, so much, much. Hayley. We'll see you, you back again here very, very sure, soon, I am sure. If you are just got anything in your basket, now you need to check your baskets out, especially if it's one of those kits where so many of them have gone already. I will see you a little bit later on, but do check out the Common Thread shows again. As I say, we're going to have some amazing time with the lovely Tanya. <laughs>